M51 or the Whirlpool Galaxy is a grand design spiral galaxy. A spiral galaxy is called a grand design spiral when its spiral arms are so well pronounced as in the case of the Whirlpool Galaxy. This galaxy can be found in the constellation of Ursa Major or the Plough, just below its handle. Relatively close, the galaxy is about 30 million light years from us and spans about 60,000 light years across. The galaxy was first observed by Charles Messier in 1773. In 1845, Lord Rose, an Anglo-Irish astronomer using the 1.8-meter reflecting telescope at Burr Castle, found that M51 possessed a spiral structure. In fact, this was the first time a spiral structure was ever observed in a galaxy. Back then, they were yet to figure out that this was a galaxy outside of our own. The Whirlpool Galaxy has a companion galaxy called M51b, also known as NGC 5195, Interaction with this galaxy over millions of years has yielded the grand design structure in the Whirlpool galaxy that we see today. We know this from the computer simulations that have proven this to be the case. Stars in a non-interacting spiral galaxy orbit the center in circular orbits. When the spiral galaxy has a companion, the gravity of the companion tugs on the circular orbits, making them elliptical. Since all the stars orbit the center at the same speed, thanks to dark matter, the elliptical orbits pile up giving rise to spiral arms, which are in fact density waves. These spiral arms are where cold interstellar hydrogen gas is compressed, triggering star formation. Therefore, we see an overdensity of stars and star forming regions along the spiral arms of any given galaxy. Messier 51 is classified as a type 2 Seaford galaxy which is a type of active galaxy that has an actively feeding supermassive black hole at the center. Unlike other active galaxies, type 2 Seafords appear normal in ordinary images, but are extremely strong sources of infrared radiation. Given the fact that M51 is an interacting galaxy and has massive spiral arms that contain some of the most massive stars, it has seen several supernovae events. The Whirlpool Galaxy has a mysterious X silhouetted across the galaxy's nucleus. The X is thought to be caused by rotating rings of dust in two different axes. X marks the exact location of the galaxy's central black hole. I'm sure there'll be a follow-up observation of this galaxy in detail by the newly launched James Webb Space Telescope. Messier 51 also contains a considerable number of X-ray sources, which are mostly X-ray binaries, consisting of two objects, either a neutron star or black hole, and an orbiting companion star. The infalling material from the orbiting star gets accelerated by the strong gravitational field of the neutron star or the black hole and gets heated to extremely high temperatures, producing the X-rays. At least 10 of the X-ray binaries discovered in M51 are bright enough to contain black holes, and most of these black holes are likely streaming materials from stars that are considerably more massive than the Sun. A survey of the Whirlpool Galaxy revealed close to 500 X-ray sources. About 400 of these are believed to be within the galaxy, while the others are in front or behind it. The Whirlpool Galaxy is also where the first extragalactic exoplanet was discovered. M51 ULS-1b is the first extragalactic planet candidate to be found because it produces a full, short-lived eclipse of the bright X-ray source, 